Oh, hello, you wonderful people. We are on the map. The one map to rule them all. It is, of course, Bogash. And the players, let's introduce them. We have Eternal playing as the Austere, having already locked in the defensive doctrine here and pumping out Austrupens. And my guess is we also gonna see the Stugi. Anyway, and his opponent is Inca number uno, playing as the USF forces. Now, Inca Una, he locked in tactical support company. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see, what do we have for bulletins here? Eternal. He is bringing with him a little bit of a buff here for the Austroop, and they are harder to hit. And increased accuracy, along with uh, the extended uh, Panzerfaust ability. Meanwhile, Inca Una, it's all about the buffs here for uh, his riflemen. More accuracy, faster earning veterancy, you know the drill. Also, did you notice the capping order sending the pioneers off to cap this and then the LMG there? Sort of links up almost immediately. And allowing the HMG here to finish up the capture after uh, the pioneers have laid down the barbed wire there. That's actually uh, something worth noticing. Smart! Smart play! <laughs> anyway, the main force being the Ostrupen, concentrating a little bit up here in this area, but now turning their attention towards the middle where they did find Inca Una's forces. Inca Una not wanted to take an engagement yet, and as he saw, the Ostrupen, he was absolutely left not surprised to uh, what kind of infantry he would be facing as seems that Ostrupen seems to be all the rage these days for the austere players. And there's probably a reason why they're also banned from uh, tournaments. <laughs> anyway, Inkaguna just got outside of the firing arc. Hey, early grenades! Oh! <laughs> Will it pay off? Can he get... Oh, snatch that. Now he just needs to deal with these guys. Yes, they are running away. What a early victory there. Oh, parkour action even. Oh, parkour, then retreat. <laughs> Probably a misclick. Anyway. Huge success for Inca Una on this side of the map here. That early grenade there must have caught Eternal off guard because it's so rare we see USF go for the early grenade tech. And boy, did it pay off. Bigly. Anyway, Lieutenant coming out now, so that probably means that Eternal. Yes, he is also about to take up. He has gotten his four uh, Ostrupen out here, which seems to be uh, the go-to number. But while this battle is raging here, Eternal is just doing the same switcheroo when it comes to territory grab. Closing in, trying to brute force his way. Oh, there's another grenade. Oh, and it goes on this one. Not that one, but this one down here. Tricked out of cover. Oh, is this going to be another? No, he shifts his attention towards these four squads here. Mm, I was just thinking what Inca Una will be doing with his lieutenant. He is unlocking this. So, um, I just wonder. I don't think he'll be going for an early M20 since he uh, did spend some of his fuel on that early grenade tech. So uh, that would have delayed his M20 by what? Not much, <laughs> seeing as he can already get it out now if he wants to. God, let's see if he'll um, get any light vehicles out besides the ambulance. Mid bunker on its way there. But um, 
well, it is actually going to be the M20. So once that's on the line, well, let's see if uh, Eternal will be um, convinced to go for a uh, scout car. That mobile eight, light AT option that can hunt down the M20. Oh, shot in the back just as they tried to retreat. Hmm. Ostruppen, with all the numbers, preparing here, but HMG with the area denial ability here will put a stop to that push and Eternal. Well, he takes up defensive positions, at least for now. He's planning a little bit of a flank here with, nope, decides to go back and stay here and defend, let him Inca Una come to him. Meanwhile, he is caught here between some rear echelons than the lieutenants, but they should be able to take this match as the rear echelons are not the biggest damage dealers. The lieutenant up close, who by the way is dead, could have dealt some damage there with his submachine gun. There it is, the M20, and of course, the M20's side armor upgrades are in effect. And the 2 to 2, as predicted, We'll be rolling onto the field now, looking to hunt down the M20 and defend the Osturpens whenever the M20 shows up. Now this here is just, yeah, with only one window to help out there, that's um, no help. Oh, and did you know uh, if you have the Rhino skin on your vehicles, that adds 5% to uh, its armor rating. So, oh, gotta run. That grenade there didn't really do much, but a little bit of a dance off there with Ostrup and now a steward. It's like, I'm getting an M20. Well, I'm getting a 2 2 2. I'm getting a steward. Well, I'm getting a P4. I'm getting a. Yeah, I don't know what Inca Una will be going for then, if it's gonna be a regular Sherman or a <laughs> or Jackson. Or just AT guns. But... Okay, there it is. <clears throat> but Inca Una, he'll have to back to if he wants AT guns. He could just be going Von Ivan style, not relying on AT guns at all. Just uh, going for regular tanks instead. Let's see where the Rhino goes. If he can plow down some infantry. Well, he should probably be heading up here now to help out with the with the possible defense as these guys here are looking mean. But they'll probably be defending over there as well, seeing as Inca Una is busy with the push down south. Where he is threatening eternal fuel supply, and just as that about to go off he is moving in here with the lieutenant with the bazooka upgrade so m20 bazooka and now a steward here suddenly uh the steward too needs a lot of thick skin if it wants to survive here in the savannah but currently uh, the 2 to 2 is Perhaps drunk as it is reversing into action <laughs> But that bazooka there was looking mighty nasty and didn't want it up in its butt so it decided to back away Flamethrower flamethrower apply flames to riflemen and let them roast for 20 minutes if they can survive well, fuel will be coming back into eternal hands there. We're losing a capture point. Mm, pack gun, yes. Good choice when you're up against uh, this much uh, light infantry here. It's just too much for the 2-2-2 two -to, -two to handle on its own. Could also go Panzer Grenadiers, but... Uh, Pegrens versus this, well, they're just... 
the range is not the same as a pack gun, so that's um, that's why you know, I think the pack gun is the better choice, better range and more powerful, really. Also very useful late game, so is uh, the Panzer's Rex, but uh, pack gun just seems more reliable when they are backed up, of course. Anyway, anything happening up there? No, not really. Eh, second pack gun, why not? As we are getting closer to the 15 minute mark. Has he ticked up? No, not yet. I mean, hmm. He could have uh, a little bit with the pack gun perhaps, but then again, a second pack gun can cover more ground. And these light vehicles are pretty fast. A little bit of a quiet moment, but <laughs> of course, whenever I tend to say that, then uh, the fighting just begins anew. That's a good sign of some aggressive play from the players. Oh, missed me. Trying to get a flank off here and just annoy, harass, grabbing territory. Oh, where? Yeah, the HMG is there, and we do in fact see that the LMGs have been given uh, to uh, some of the troops. At least one of them. Oh, gotta run here. Pack guns exposed. And there's no sign of the riflemen stopping, but this should probably stop. <laughs> A little bit of help coming in from the side there. The captured HMG during its bit to uh, suppress some of the troops. And now the 2 to 2 is a little bit of danger here. But managed to escape. Stuart is not capable of going in for a dive. And the 2 to 2 gets away. More LMG has been given. Lock and load in tactics mode. Hmm... Yeah, we're ticking up now, and it won't be long before the Stuggy, and the Stuggy we believe, Stug life. Hmm. Oh boy, he won't last long, this uh, squad here. But he's not going in. Also, by the way, Eternal has not replaced this... I'm blind. He has replaced it. Of course he has. Please uh, excuse my stupidity. As uh, I am barely awake. Yeah, that's it. Just got out of bed. And, and encore. Oh, even gift one of the models. <laughs> Well, that's a traumatic experience, watching your comrade just getting blown to gibbs. But that's war. War is hell. Hmm. Inca Una with enough fuel to get the Major onto the field now. Should he want an extra unit to cap? There's a fly on the microphone. Didn't get it. Back here, it's looking to be a triple cap now for Inca Una. 2-2-2 two, two, two still working on that second promotion with skills that improved weapon accuracy, making it so much more potent when it comes to uh, dealing with infantry. And there it is, the Stuki is ready to be called in, and I think it will be as soon as Eternal got a free moment to realize it. A little bit of a digging in going on here. Two to two scouting, just seeing what's going up there. As Eternal, he is a little bit of a stressed situation. He is trying to at least get one of his victory points back. Also locking it down with an HMG, but oh, is, this is gonna hurt. Just a sliver of health. 
cannot afford to lose this. Oh, there we go. Got it. Let's see. Uh, it's quite close to the base, so I think he'll be able to recruit it. Yeah, he's getting out now, and there's no any um, AG option available really to destroy the anti-tank gun. Support weapon. No, he's actually not going for the Stuki. Alrighty then. I mean, we have seen players like, what is that? PGA, who's been going for uh, the Stuki. Oh, well, when I'm um, going with this build here and commander. So a little bit different uh, play from Eternal. The P4 will definitely also be a solid choice to deal with the infantry, of course, the light vehicles as well. Where the Stuki may not be um, the best option against these light vehicles here as it is quite inaccurate versus moving targets. And now a mortar. Well, I suppose the mortar will be able to help out versus these team weapons major on the field going straight for the tanks here not bothering with AG guns at least for now if he wants them he'll have to back tech but so far both players have done a good job of keeping their light vehicles alive A little bit of action going on there, but uh, oh, they actually got pinned. They were not in green cover. They were just in light cover and a little bit of what is this sneaky thing doing there? He doesn't realize it's up there. Hmm. Nah, he's not going to lay down a uh, sneaky uh, M6 and to tank mine. I don't think so. It's so rare that you see uh, vehicles drive up here so an m6 mine up there nah oh a little bit of s mines or so there were though there is a tele mine there just a neat little surprise should inca una be tempted to dive in with his light vehicles oh boys boys stay within the circle ah there is a foot inside but yeah you need more and there it is the Sherman. Going for the regular Sherman. Great versus infantry. Not that reliable when it comes to penetrating. Uh, P4s. I've always felt though it can penetrate it. Sure, no doubt about that. But it's just not as reliable as one who's playing USF a lot could wish for <laughs> though what it lacks in armor piercing abilities it makes up for in the anti-infantry abilities with its um, high explosive shells though keeping your Sherman exclusively on the uh, high explosive shells is not advised when you uh, don't have any AT guns out so please don't do that Open wide! The Rhino is about to get its horn cut off if it stays in this engagement. And be careful with setting up here. Don't forget, he's got grenades. Oh no, is he really gonna bunch up there? Yeah, there's the grenade. Oh boy, this nasty, nasty, nasty. <laughs> well, Eternal, he is a Rhino, not an elephant. An elephant never forgets. Apparently, Eternal had temporarily forgotten uh, about the grenades there. Or maybe he was just completely careless, though I don't think that was his intention to be careless. I just think he forgot. Thank you, said Inkaruna. But can he get out here? That's the question. Let's see the flamethrower, yeah. And... Safe! Even getting some backup here from the Sherman. <laughs> and there's no way the 2-2-2 will take on the Sherman. 
Definitely not in that condition. That's just one shot away from being dead. Hello, could I get some repairs? Repairs, Peter? Ugh. Pioneers overwork here. I have to tend to both vehicles right now. But. And it doesn't help that this rhino doesn't want to sit still, but there's some meaning behind the madness. Wants to repair while capping. Good on you. Oh. And Eternal's attention is also being drawn to the middle where his Aust troopers are drawing fire from almost every single machine gun that Inkona currently possesses. The steward just rolling up here trying to tangle with the P4. Or satisfied with just looking mean, but got scared as the P4 was looking even meaner. Second pioneer coming out now. That will help uh, Eternal in his uh, repair efforts. Should Eternal get a minesweeper? Well, not for sweeping mines, perhaps. Well, then again, he could bring of an uh, M6 mine from the M20. So let's see. Of course, the minesweeper will also help out against, you know slower repair rates as it does boost and why is it oh he's taking up that's why it didn't progress see he's going all the way and doesn't have to fear any m20 mines later as it is dead and that telemine is a little too close to where they're parked sherman backs off as the can opener is on the field here Scored a couple of hits, maybe one only. But enough to make the Sherman think twice about staying in the firing arc there. And the 222 has definitely earned its vet too. Though it has to be a little bit careful here. The small arms fire from all these forces here could punch a few holes into it. And now we see sector artillery defending all of surrounding points here. That is friendly. Crowd mortar. This little mortar here, just earning its first promotion, having killed its first man. They grow up so fast. Now, Inca Una, what will you be coming on next? And what will Eternal go for? He has ticked up, so. Does he really want Panthers? I mean, Panthers are. Uh, definitely more powerful than p4 when it comes to uh, at option but uh, the p4 does nicely against just the um, regular sherman could also be that he just wants a panzer werfer to deal with the all of the hmgs in case he's not satisfied with the mortis performance Oh, there were his mines. They were not, they had not been swept. Sherman is just checking a bath in the fire, leaving one of the <laughs> dead crew members <laughs> strangling a bit and he's got ran over. Ay, a little bit of hot action here as the 222. Just a little bit of diving action, but. Just doing a little bit of scouting, also in scenario rounds. Fire here, turning up the heat here. Gotta be careful here, don't wanna lose this. Just managed to snatch the point and back to base they go to be treated for their burn wounds. Major. He can be used as a minesweeper. Gotta use those bureaucrats for something useful. Well, then again, Inkaun has also been using him to cap with. So, yeah, Major being useful. Oh, a little bit of a nasty retreat path here. And where's the Sherman? It's all the way over there, so there's not too much stopping the P4 from going in here if it weren't because of the bazooka combined with the snare. Oh, double bazooka even on the lieutenant. Did not see that one coming. And the steward is just poking its head in and says, Sup, guys, I'm helping. Though it needs to get closer if it wants to utilize its machine gun. That's where it's the 
anti-infantry capability is lies. As the main gun on the steward is a little bit inaccurate. But when it hits, it hits. What's going on up here? Sherman taking a beat and it's actually being hunted by the pack guns here. Like a pack of wolves, the pack guns sneaks in on the Sherman. Uh, oh, please don't repair there. You're still being a little too close there. Now Eternal managed to push through up here with the P4 and 222 in tow. Leaving the Ostruppen to do a bit of capping. And now we see the Panther coming out. Also getting this uh, all out war bonus here. Making it cheaper to reinforce the troops. And green cover is being denied. Still a Panther. Yeah. More health. Better armor. Stands a much better chance against the Germans. But then again. Again. The P4 is also a good choice versus... Germans and a cheaper one. But so are the Stooks, the mighty Stook. Gotta praise it uh, once in a while. In the Stook, we believe. Oh, the Rhino almost went extinct there. Maybe from these guys, I'm not sure. Anyway, triple cap is going on now, Eternal. Got Inca Una by the throat. And even losing one of his pack guns there. He is trying to get it destroyed even so it won't fall into Inca Una's hands. Inca Una still has to back tech if he wants some uh, AT guns. That's a good grenade. But not good enough to kill them off. And being parked right next to Myers always makes me so anxious. <laughs> the Rhino Panther is here. Well, that's kind of a nasty hybrid animal. A Rhino Panther. Well, second HMG coming out now. Combine it with a new pack gun and I'd say Eternal, he is set when it comes to army composition. That is, if you could also throw in a, um, a Raketenwerfer to help deal with the uh, these boys here. And now an AT gun is on the way. He has gone for the uh, captain very briefly, but captain just got ordered back. Apparently, unless I really am blind. Nope, there's no captain up there. So he got redrawn from the map, not taking up precious pop cap. For um, Inca Una. AT gun ready. And with the arrival of an AT gun, then. We've dropped to a Kittenwerfer. Well, Panzerwerfer, rather, is warranted. But he is actually pop -cap. Uh So he's gonna have to rely on his mortar, which, as you can tell by the number of infantry killed, is not. A uh, weapon that inflicts manpower bleed. We're losing a capture point. Oh, that's a bad spot to stay parked in. Gotta move. Panther. Following pursuit. What is this? It's like, no, I don't want to move. Anyway, AT gun. Trying to find an angle onto the action here. Meanwhile, the Panther is still doing its thing, looking very mean, and the HMG gunner is ready to fire here, but needs to turn front to it, where uh, the armor is thickest. And Inkaruna is just trying to make a push here towards the middle, but Eternal's got that on lockdown with an HMG and a pack gun to boot. And this uh, assault here from Inkaruna is, well... He's got the VP, but won't be successful with getting a decap going there. It's just too much for him. So uh, now comes the counterattack here from Eternal as he wants that VP back in his hands. He wants that triple cap to bleed in Kauna of his last remaining points. But so far on the VP front, it's actually quite even. And 
Oh, this green cover. What? That was a lot of mortar shells that landed there in close succession. But did it do any? Did it get some kills? Yeah. Okay. Neat. So maybe a bit free. It may be able to punch out some more damage and thus getting some kills. The little steward that could is trying to um, clear up this space here, making room for the infantry to move in and cap, but didn't quite succeed as the, the HMG is getting some backup there from the Panther as Tunnel, he's just doing his best to hold on to uh, his, uh, his victory points. Let's see a little bit of tank on tank action down here. Oh, we're getting some penetrating shots from the Sherman, despite the P4 got its uh, upgrade, armor upgrade. Oh, these boys are pinned. They're getting mowed down. Oh, retreat got called too late there. As wow, 22 kills. The HMG taking no prisoners. There it is, the much needed flank just came a tad too late and now he's probably hoping But no, there is no hope for this HMG. Wow, it did it got pinned in the first burst Ay, ay, ay It might even go down This is all oh, that this MG just killed it and now this squad has to run right through Nope, it's backing up. It will be saved. But that does leave room, popcap wise, for a Panzerwerfer. Sure, the channel wants to do that. This would definitely be a juicy target if he could land some good rocket artillery on them. But that's a little bit of wishful thinking as Inca Una hasn't been sleeping on the job so far during this match. But <laughs> here we is seeing Inca Una role playing as a ranked thousand player keeping all his squads uh, gathered up here for a faster cap poor tip doesn't cap faster when you have more squads there <laughs> let's see if he'll continue to role play it on the next point where he will capture but he is definitely keeping these troops tight here the execution squad but now they're splitting off oh took down the telemine there by his own artillery he's going in diving for the sherman sherman out of control i'm out of control even ran down a couple of his own men ah but lost the p4 in the process couldn't quite disengage in time mm. well that puts a bummer in uh, eternal's um celebration uh, victory dance now Panzer Grenadiers are coming out there. Mm-hmm. The capture point is being overrun. Should they be able to get up close, they will get some damage served to the enemy. They do also have the uh, bundle grenade. So he couldn't return all the wipe that Inkauna has done onto him with his grenades. A new regular Sherman is coming out, I see. Now, oh, look at all this. That's like four bazookas trying to take down the Panther. But the Panther is still standing strong. And armor. Yeah, I thought so. There were a little bit of extra armor added down there. 2-2-2 two, 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 just doing its thing over there. Getting rid of this squad and opening up for a cap. Also, same done up there. Got rid of the HMG. And there it is, the Stuki. Looking to add to um, the anti-infantry capabilities. Seeing as it's Inca Unas. Well, he's got quite the infantry uh, army composition here. And the Panther alone should be able to deal with the um, Stuart and the new Sherman. Especially backed up with the pack gun here. So, Stuki, free to go ham. Get rid of uh, these pesky Sook boys. 
also bit free and that means they get that extra squad member where's the AT gun though well it's keeping a watch on the middle be able to help out here no yes one shot in from the AT gun and but that's it that's all she wrote in Kauna's defense uh, still on the job as they were about to getting flanked by these pioneers oh and the mortar is wow a vet free it's certainly become quite the killer and without any yes we do have something up there an hmg defending the point yeah i think Una's attempt Getting this here may be futile, but a little bit of smoke coming in now, but the Stuki needs to be dealt with before Inka Una, he can get up there. And by the time the Stuki is gone, the smoke may have lifted and yeah. Oh, and another good hit there from the mortar. Lots of health damage might even have gotten a model. And these Ostrup in here are just mowing down what remains of the riflemen. Hey, HMG is ready for the picking there. Sure, Eternal want the double HMGs and what's going on here? The Panther is taking major damage. Must have been uh, to the anti-tank gun there. But the Pioneers, good to go. Ready to get the repairs going and get the Panther on the field quickly. <laughs> Even upgrading the Stuggy with the uh, Pinton Mountain machine gun. Further adding to its um, anti-infantry capabilities. And I'm surprised that we haven't seen a Calliope here. Oh well. But then Kauna, he is lucky to have a tank out as... Well, the USF bleed is real! His income is of course higher than Eternal, but... Uh, not long ago Eternal was the one who had banked up the most power but now we do see the raquette and warfare coming out eternal getting sick i'm telling you sick i'm tired of that at gun ruining his fine armor on the panther and this anti-tank gun here is getting more dangerous by every shot it takes getting ever so close to vet free extensive target pressure increase the team rate of fire yeah more penetrating hits that's the danger juice that'll be given to the AT gun. But Eternal, he is down on VPs 89. Inca Una, he's got the upper hand though. Needs to, um, Eternal needs to deal with all this infantry here from, from Inca Una. Oh! takes down the 2 to 2 can we get a trade here might even lose his panther if he's really unlucky all this damage that's coming in uh, it's just unreal the panther is trying it's best to limp around this building no what's it doing okay it's reversing taking its time getting some front armor in the pack gun the pack gun move oh bouncing shot there from the sherman up close Ah, uh, trying to get around here. Shot blocking from the from the bazookas, but the Sherman. Oh, another bounce! Can the Sherman get out? No. Now it's up to the lieutenant. Ah, <laughs> the lieutenant takes it down. Not much armor is left for um. For Inca Una or Eternal, but Eternal with this has the uh, medium armor while Inca Una does not, at least not yet. He is saving up for another tank, I assume. <sighs> Panzerwerfer is safe back at base now. And at the moment, let's see, do we get some Panzer tricks on these boys? As they will be able to really uh, make the steward go away. Oh, pack on opening up there. Stuggy also joining in the fray here. HMG retreating. Where is this AT gun? 
don't lose the vet free AT gun. That's so precious. Just pull it back to base, get it reinforced, healed. We have a minesweeper here. Oh, they need to be so careful with the mortar draining death down on them. That could trigger the S mines. Oh, that! Oh, could you imagine having to disable mines while on the mortar fire, getting hit by those shrapnels? Where's the plane? Where's the plane? Here it is! Oh, take down! Panzer Grenadiers got shredded, and here it is—the retaliation. But the riflemen are long gone. A little bit of breathing room for the steward crew. Get to fix up their little tank. Oh, the HMG is still up for grabs. And with the incendiary rounds being loaded there, I'm surprised that we haven't really uh, seen any model drops from uh, the major. But the Major doesn't care. He's just gonna throw in uh, some uh, some smoke there while he's like, Come at me! I don't care if it's just in the rear rounds! Ah! He's a real fighter, that Major. Uh-oh. 50 point counting and this Stugi has seen better days. At least the uh, AT gun is pulling back. It did get nourished back to health. How's it looking for Eternal? He's probably saving up for... Uh, yeah, he could call in a Panther 4, but... Uh, not really so sure about his choice. Going for... Uh, going for Panthers instead of... Panther 4s. I mean, I could better understand it. it if Inca Una had a Jackson out. Bit of a stalemate here in the middle. They cannot cap the territory while it's being contested. More troops coming up here. This time, two squads with smoke grenades. That ought to do it. And speaking of grenades, there's another one. Fire in the hole! Quite literally. They just continue to push up. Remember these boys? Yeah. They have the grenades and they have been wiping uh, the HMG crew quite a few times throughout the match. And now the Panther is coming onto the field here. We're gonna see some do or die action here from Eternal. How many kills has this been up to? 10, but I suspect he has switched crew. Cannot really keep track on that. <laughs> Stugi not having any luck hitting the steward. 10 points. This is it, boys. It's game over for Eternal. So long. Well, that's it for this time, folks. Like and subscribe if you want more. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And I will see you next time. Adios, amigos.